What's good? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back with Beaker and Lulu and Melly. Hey man, you guys know what it is because we're back here for a very special episode. Look, I never thought we'd make this video. I, I, I never thought I would say these words out loud. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know we recently discovered the date, the exact date that we first downloaded Clash of Clans. And I mean, I knew I downloaded it a long time ago, but I was never quite sure exactly eight years ago to the day we downloaded the Clash of Clans. That's where it all happened. And it is so weird to think about that. First of all, that's way too much time. I, I don't know how I feel about that. And secondly, I remember where I was, what I was doing, and why I downloaded Clash at the time. It's so weird. And the fact that pressing that button changed my life entirely. Anyway, guys, get your shades on, get your shoes off. Over those eight years, I've had such a good time. And there's been only one time that we didn't play Clash, which I'm gonna tell you guys about that. It was like it was like five days or something. Worst time of my life. Because the day I downloaded Clash begins in three, two, one. All right, guys, so we can't talk about the eight years that we've spent here without talking about the base that started it all. Speaker 09. Guys, I made this base, as we said, exactly eight years ago, and I remember where I was. I have a picture. Do you guys remember? I showed you it once. It wasn't that long ago. I have a picture of, of I was sitting in the exact place. It was like a week before I downloaded Clash, and I looked all sad. I looked all depressed and like weird. Yeah. So guys, at the end of 2012, I've told you this story before. It's a story for another video. We're going to talk about it again in another video. But let's just say uh, I turned my life around. But, you know, I got over depression and a lot of other things. And at the end of 2012, I didn't really have anything. I was very broke. I had nothing. And I didn't, I hadn't had like a, a normal real job in a long time. I mean, I did things. I was a woodworker. Yeah, like, I worked really hard. I just never made much money. <laughs> let's just say I wasn't the best salesman for some reason. People didn't look at me. I mean, now you might look at me and be like, I'll buy whatever he's selling. Back then, man, I don't know. I looked like a mountain man that was like hiding a knife in his boot. You know, it's, it's like, I don't, I don't understand it. You guys, I've been selling woodworking stuff and I've been making good stuff. Like I made some good tables and that stuff doesn't, that stuff's hard to sell. Mostly what I sold was cutting boards. Yeah, and you make a cool cutting board and it sells. You sell it for like 30, 40 bucks or whatever. And it doesn't take you that long. And it's kind of like a cool checkerboard look or something. People like that. But man, I'm telling you, I was never a good salesman. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So in 2012, my mom changed the course of history by buying me an iPad. All right. Dude, can we text my mom right now and say thank you? I'm going to do it. Hey, mom, you bought me the iPad in 2012 that I originally used to start playing Clash. I guess you're really the one who started Beaker's Lab. <laughs> Dude, she just read it. She just read it. Oh, man. She's going to be like, what is he talking about? And guys, just a couple months after we got that iPad, well, like guess four months, five months, we downloaded Clash and I still remember it to this day. And it is so weird to think about. I remember where I was, remember what I was doing. And I remember how addicted I got immediately. Do you guys remember that feeling in the beginning? I think it might have been an accidental thing on their part, but they made, maybe it was intentional. I don't know. But the beginning town halls of Clash are so addicting and it has become the standard for mobile games. You make the beginning easy. Right, so you like progress really fast and then you get addicted and it so worked on me and it worked on a lot of us and not in a bad way. It's not like they were trying to scam us. The only thing I ever bought back then was the builders. Oh no. Okay guys, so the sad but true thing is we can go back so far in our videos because we've been on here for years. We've been doing YouTube for almost as long as we've been playing Clash. This first one here guys, it's not even public anymore. It was probably so bad I didn't, I, I, let's see what it says. All right, guys, so I definitely do not want to hear any of the sound here, but I just want to check out what was going on. Dude, it's so, I, I kind of get bummed out about the fact that by the time we started doing YouTube, we were already past Town Hall 9, you know? And we did it again, you know, we made a second base, which, that's a whole long story in itself, which was so fun, but I just tried to zoom in. Oh my goodness. Guys, the quality is so bad. Like I want to zoom in. I want to see what's going on, but I really want to see the queen. Was this at the point where you couldn't lure the heroes out anymore? Because, all right guys, so I love, I, I mean, I do not recommend going back to our first vids, but it is, it is kind of funny that it exists, right? Because this is all the way back when we started. Oh, you can see our elixir escapade wasn't max yet. Wait, but the gold was? All right, it's fine, it's fine. 
So guys, all the way back then, the game was so much different. And as you can see, we're just in the grinding, dude. Just absolutely grinding with barbs, archers, and sometimes minions, depending on what we were doing. I mean, I, I kind of miss it. I honestly miss it. And you can't go back to that. You can't just go back and, and start using barbs and archers unless you're in a low league and then you could for sure. But man, it's good times, good times. Look at that, man, 169 archers. This is so funny. So guys, the cool thing about this uh, at this time, I didn't get into this for any other reason than to share this stuff with my friends. That's the only reason I did it. And it's the only reason I kept doing it because I was bad. I was terrible. I mean, you know what I think it was? I think I was really shy. Like it's easy to think about being online as you're not actually on a stage, right? Like you're not actually, like right now we're not actually talking to 10,000 of you who are gonna watch this video in the first hour, but we kind of are. And so I think at the beginning, I was super shy because of that. And it just didn't, I, I didn't sound like myself for at least a year. So if you go back in our old videos for like four years ago, yeah, they're gonna be okay. If you go back like five, six years, Eh, they're gonna be pretty iffy. It's it's up to you. All right, guys, I had to get a hoodie on. It is getting wicked cold in here. So it looks like we're doing. A Wait, we're not even in Unity Elite. We're in Unity Champions. I I don't even remember half of this stuff, man. I think Unity Champions, dude. You know what it was? It was like Unity Sharp's project to become a trophy pusher. Yeah, that's what it was, man. Unity Sharp was was the OG who started the Unity clans, and um. I was such a fanboy. You guys should have seen me. I was such a fanboy. I started getting into Advanced Clash because of him, because I saw his guides on the Supercell forums about farming Dark Elixir and maxing your heroes. And it just got me so interested in that world. Here we are. Oh man, you guys remember this? The base building scene? Oh, look at me. I'm such a loser. A few of my friends have been using this base. I can promise you it's a phenomenal design. What? <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, guys. Is there music? There must be music. All right, we should probably just cut that because it's probably gonna get me a copyright strike. Hey guys, this is kind of cool. So I was visiting, why, why is that not right? What's going on here? Was it because I was on an iPad mini? I don't even know. I, I, I don't even know. Anyway, guys, look, this was back in the day when I was visiting a top clan. Honestly, remember seeing 300 at, uh, on top of the leaderboards. You guys remember that? I mean, if you've been playing a long time, you remember some of these clans, like Mega Empire, that sounds familiar. Yo, you guys remember that? Massive amounts of archers in the clan castle. It's actually pretty good still, right? Like, it's just annoying. Oh, and a witch at the end, it's just annoying. You know, you could still use that today. And clan castles are so much bigger now. Look at the actual clan castle itself. Look at all of this stuff, except for the fact that this is blue walls. Oh my God, lightning. We didn't even have poisons back then. Oh, this is an old school hog rider raid. Okay, guys, so guys, I remember when hog riders, they got changed when they originally came out. They were one of the first dark troops or the first dark troop or one of them. And they didn't even go for defenses in the beginning. <laughs> All they did was they were just miners. They were just miners. That's all they were. That jumped over walls instead of under walls. That's it. This is so interesting, man, because, okay, we couldn't even see what the spells were, right? I don't think they have them on the bottom yet, but it, it seems like they just had a ton of heal spells and a ton of hog riders. I love it. And by the way, guys, how good does it look? I mean, this is terrible quality, but when you get down to it, you get to the end of this raid here and all you have, look at the barbs for cleanup. Oh my God. When you get down to the end here and you have just these blue walls, it looks so cool. Oh man. Hey guys, you know, I gotta say, it is satisfying just going through these and looking at the thumbnails. Look at this. You can tell like, oh my God, you guys see that one right there? Epic fail compilation. I made that for a college media class and I swear I got like a D on it. They were like, this is not good. I'm like, you just don't get it, it's clash. So guys, as you go up through the list here, you, it's crazy. You're starting to see people actually watching our videos. Like it's it's really cool. And these are all after years, of course, right? Like these, these were probably getting a thousand 500 views, a thousand views at the time, but then over the years, you know, and, and that's kind of the cool thing about being a YouTuber for many years. Even if your video doesn't hit really well on the first day, you got so much time. It's going to be up there forever and it gets traction. Even if it's just a couple of views a day, it, it adds up. 
Dude, there is so many videos here. This, this is my life. This, we're seeing my life right now. Okay, what? You, we're still in five years ago? Oh my God. Guys, I think this is an unreleased video. I think I made this video and then I didn't like it and I didn't put it up. Oh my God, do you guys want to watch? I mean, we're not gonna watch the whole thing, but like, is there... We should have put up this video. I had, like every YouTuber does this, I think you make a video sometimes and you're like, I didn't like it. I didn't like it, I'll make another one. And it's so dumb. Like now, wh wh what would I post this video now? Five years late? <laughs> I mean, we could. High level troops in the clan castle. <laughs> now I know not everybody can do this. Okay, I get it. But you can request a wizard. They just get crushed like that. Oh man, it, it kills me every time. Let's watch. Yo, what is good, buddies? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. We're gonna play some Clash Royale today. New game from Supercell, brand new game, and it's pretty fun, dude. Let's put on some tunes, guys. I got my headphones right here. Let's put that on, and we'll go rock out. Let's do this. All right, looking for a match. Here we go. Let's do this. All right, oh, nice. Arena three. Guys, you know what I really want to get back to? Okay, you can see here, we used to do a lot of vlogs. We used to do one every week or try to. Uh, YouTubers that can't make videos? I have no idea. No idea what that was about. Uh, YouTuber makes each, oh, that was, that was playing inside. Watch Dogs 2, we played that? I, I really don't even know. When you, Steep, oh man, I think I played that on my birthday one year. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Right there, guys, where I am shockingly holding Lulu like a, like a, the doll. I'm sorry, Lulu. I should. I mean, she doesn't mind if you pick her up, but I still shouldn't have done that. But dude, that's the day we got Lulu. Or, or it was the day where, you know, we started like saying, hey, this is my buddy Lulu. Dude, I played Call of Duty. I, I, I don't know. So guys, this takes us back to what I was saying in the beginning. The worst time of my life, really the only time that we didn't play Clash for a while is when I had cancer. Oh my God. So right there, Cancer sucks. That was the first day that I told you guys. It happened really fast. But basically, guys, I had testicular cancer and I had surgery and it was okay, but it was the toughest thing. And look, look, I still got one. Don't worry about me. And we can always laugh about this stuff. I want us to, as long as you guys promise to not ignore stuff like this when it happens. Look, I was an idiot. Before I, I went to the doctor, I went on vacation to Mexico. I ignored it for months saying like, oh, it's nothing. It's gonna be fine. And I knew I wasn't feeling well. I, I knew something was wrong. I finally went to the doctor and they said, look, we don't, we don't know. We don't know if you're gonna be okay. He kept saying, look, don't worry. You got a 99% chance of being fine. And I kept, I kept flipping out like, so you're saying I got a 1% chance of dying? And like, I just couldn't get over that. And and it was, it was the worst week of my life. We're back, bros. You guys are awesome. You made a pretty sketchy week of my life a lot better with the amount of support. That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> Look at the comments. I'm on a bunch of painkillers now, wondering why he's so hype. Oh, guys, there's another uh, there's another video that I never upload. Wait, wait, I can't even show it. Okay, so Nintendo doesn't Nintendo doesn't allow stuff like that, or maybe they do now, but I don't even want to mess with it. That's why I never ended up posting it. But I did that video because one of my friends who died, he actually drowned. I don't want to get into like I don't want to bum you guys out, but I have two friends who who passed away that way. We used to play F Zero all the time on like an old. Uh, Super Nintendo. So. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Thank you for coming out. We love you guys. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Leave two for Lulu. Look, there's so many things I want to say and do. And essentially, this is maybe want to do a History of Clash episode, which we've done a bunch of times. And I also want to do another episode where we look at our old videos because I got to get a setup where we can hear it, right? But it's not lagging because the setup I have now, for some reason, this, it makes the audio lag. I'll figure it out. It's... I don't know why that would happen, but it's fine. We'll figure it out. But yeah, if we can get it so we can actually hear ourselves in the old videos, that'd be fun, man. And it sort of got me psyched again because, you know, looking back through all this, I, I, it's easy to remember why I love doing this and why we love, you know, doing this as a group every day because we've had so many good times and like, but guys, for now, let us know how you're doing in the comments below. Leave two for Lulu, join the gang. Look at some of those old videos if you want to. I mean, it's honestly fun. We gotta do it more often. There's such a, there's such a catalog of old stupid videos there. I just gotta figure out a, a better way to do it with the audio, but man, it's been an honor doing this with you guys for the past, uh, well, however long you've been here, but I've been here for eight years now and 
I just, I, I can't, I can't believe it. We love you guys, and we'll see you right here tomorrow for, uh, well, one more day. We'll see you guys then. Peace.